Hello, people of the internet, Dustin here. Today, I'm gonna to show off my personal rock collection. Um, hope you all are excited, it's pretty awesome. So I'm gonna start off with some pieces that I found and or acquired recently. Over here, I got a lot of the Drew's Quartz that I found. This is a cool one. Very large one. This one I found um, in a tree that had fallen over. This one's very cool. It has like the big macro crystals with little micro crystals on top. Like a Chalcedony grew on top of the quartz crystals. Pick a lot of these up in Southeast Missouri. And I love these pieces because they're all so different. I found this right next to where I found this. Right next to where I found this. And this. This I didn't personally find. I picked this up at a yard sale, but I wanted to show it because I think it's really cool. This is a more micro crystalline variety and you can kind of really see the botryoidal kind of bubbly growth. And um, I really think all these grew over fossil stromatolites. I'll get into that later when I can show you more of my collection in the table. Also, I just, I just love these, they're so different. This one kind of has a smoky thing going. This one was cool, I don't know if you'll be able to see it. But the big crystals are covered with teeny tiny little sparkly Druze crystals. Some of my recent acquisitions that I did not personally find, but I purchased this from the crystal collector, Brian Major. This is Arkansas Quartz from the Zegris Mine. And there are just some fantastic carbon phantoms in there. Love this piece, it's so amazing. I think these are so interesting. I think that these crystals with the carbon inclusions and some of the other ones I'm gonna show later that have damage are evidence of worldwide cataclysms long ago. And whether you wanna be biblical or scientific about that, I think there's totally a lot of evidence, so that's cool. The coolest thing about that crystal is that I got this piece as a bonus. This is an awesome keyed amethyst on Drew's, which you know I love. This is from Purple Heart Mine, South Carolina. And it's just a fantastic little bonus, so... If you're ever thinking like, maybe I wanna buy some crystals from the crystal collector, I'm just saying, you probably should. So, oh, also, these are cool. These are from one of my fans of my original channel, Dust in the Wind. I got these from, oh, I guess I won't say her name in case she doesn't wanna be named. But she sent me a care package filled with all of these cool crystals. These are just a couple of them. There's other stuff in there. They're all distributed in my rock collection now. Uh, one of the pieces that I got that was supposed to be um, Arcturian Quartz, I lost. So hopefully that passed on to someone who needs it. So yeah, that's about all I have to say about that. All right, I also wanna show off some more of my stuff before I get into the goods and the table. Uh, I got a couple pieces displayed here in these wall boxes. This is a piece of malachite, I believe, from Colorado. Hiding out behind it, there's a six leaf clover that I found. Not a rock, but pretty cool. 
cool little geode that I got from my supervisor at work who went geode mining. This is an awesome fossil shell that I found. I found this right on my property, right outside my house while I was looking for mushrooms. Ironically, two days later when I went back to look for rocks, didn't find any, but I found two mushrooms. And last of the little displays over here, we got this cool crystal that I picked up at a yard sale where, oh my God, I scored so much at that yard sale. I thought this was so cool because about a month before I got it, my son got this. And I feel like I got the real life version of it now, which is cool. So there's a couple other interesting pieces up here. I got this little Star Wars Walker guy guarding them. This is a piece of a meteorite. This is one of the pieces that I actually kept the label on. I'm kind of weird about, I don't like to clutter it up with labels, but I need to get better about that because I really need to keep track of my stuff. I think this is so cool because in my opinion, this is evidence that the asteroid belt is the remains of a destroyed planet because this is a pretty solid chunk of metal. And if you look at it, you can see crystalline structure. And according to my line of thinking, the only way that that could occur would be inside of a planet somewhere that was hot and had high pressure for a long sustained period of time so that the crystals could grow. So I think that's really cool. This is just kind of a cool personal piece because it came from the park where me and my wife got married. This is a sandstone concretion that I think is being held together by calcite. I posted it on a botroidal Facebook page and they angrily told me it's not technically botryoidal, but whatever, it looks pretty botryoidal to me. But it's sandstone, so this is, this is one of those weird things you can find. Always keep your eye out. Yeah, and here's my first geode. Showed this in my very uh, first video that I did where I went to look for those. And now, let's get into the goods in the table. That's where the cool stuff's at. Okay, well, I'm not going to be able to put all of my rock collection in one video. Sorry. So this is probably going to be a two, maybe even three part video. And I'm going to try and upload all of that today. So if you watch this, please watch the other ones and like and comment and subscribe and all that stuff. So YouTube will think I'm cool enough to post videos longer than 15 minutes again. Also, here's some cool plants that my wife put some of my crystals in. Thought I'd show these off since I didn't earlier. So, watch the next ones. Thanks guys.